Happy Saturday, everybody. It's a uh, food day over here in the De Benedetto house. We're going to be smoking some St. Louis ribs for dinner. We're about to get them ready. Also going to be cooking uh, some wings for a uh, late lunch. So we're going to be eating good around here today. But first thing, we're going to get these things ready. and peel the membrane off. Mustard now is a little bit of a binding agent. I'm gonna season them up. All right, they're seasoned up. I chose to use my big Mo Quezon competition rib rub. Did this last time, use it. They were super good. I'm gonna put them into the pan. I like to transfer them over into the pan. Makes for a nice clean cook and it's easy to cover. When you do the two hours covered portion, just easy to put foil over it. Cover it up, so. Get them on here and then we'll put them on the smoker. All right, we got the Traeger set at 250. We're gonna smoke them uh, uncovered for roughly about three hours. Make sure also you kind of mush them together a little bit so that the ribs cook a little bit better. All right, while well, uh, I have the big job of cooking all day, Tay has a really important job of holding down the snack all day. All right? I'm really good. You're doing that. a really good job. <laughs> Thanks. We cut up all the wings. Side note, this was a uh, custom gift from a fan, which was super special and we're really thankful for. We cut up the wings uh, on that. Now we're just gonna get ready to season them up. We seasoned up the wings. I just kind of wing it on uh, seasoning them, <laughs> no pun intended. But I did garlic, salt, and pepper, a little cornstarch on these, and a little pepper leaf, which is pretty simple. Matt, are they good? Woo, man. <laughs> I got a little sweat going, but man, they are, they're good. See that. We got taste testers here in the all. <laughs> they're good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I ate about 200 wings for uh, lunch, see? All right, they've been cooking for, I don't know, an hour and a half or something like that. Gonna spritz them with a little bit of apple juice and apple cider vinegar and check them to see how gross they look. Oh yeah, super gross looking. All right, they've been cooking for almost three hours uncovered. So now it's time to uh, put a little bit of apple juice in the bottom of the pan and then cover them in foil. I like to poke maybe a little hole and each so has a tiny bit of ventilation so it's still giving it like a little bit of bite because I don't like them to be just mushy, complete fall off the bones. So, do that now. Two hours covered is up. Now it's time to glaze them. Then we'll put them back on there uncovered for just a little bit. Let it sit on there and they'll be, they'll be good to go. All right, they're done. We uh, cooked them for almost three hours uncovered, two hours covered, and then a little bit uncovered again after they're glazed and they look terrible, disgusting. So I'll just probably go ahead and tear into them and make sure nobody else eats it. All right, it's uh, 9.30 at night. I'm being fat, I decided to eat some more ribs. <laughs> I had to document this. Look at that bite. See, I like a little bite, but it pulls right off the bone. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm proud of this one. <laughs> 